Greetings to you all. My name is Dr. Foxweed, and today we shall discuss an ancient tale of war told by an elderly man from Homer's Iliad, a fellow named Nestor. It is Book 11 of the Iliad, and many heroes from the Greek army have been wounded by the Trojans. The fortune of the army has turned since their best man Achilles refused to take part in the battle. But the bitter Achilles would nonetheless send his companion Patroclus to check on the Greeks, as he recognized one of the men who had been wounded. And so Patroclus would seek out Nestor, their oldest and wisest warrior, who was tending the wounded soldier. Yet when Patroclus visited the general's tent, Nestor had a request of his own to make, for Achilles to join the battle and help the Greek army recover their ground. Nestor was of course getting on a bit, and given to rambling, so he doesn't get to the point immediately. To frame his plea to Patroclus, though, he starts by telling a long story from many moons ago of when Nestor himself joined a battle to help his friends. Would that I were young, and a strength was still firmly grounded inside me, as when war came to pass between the Ilaeans and our side about a cattle raid. The cattle raid tale begins in Nestor's city of Pylos, which was in those days war-torn and practically in ruins. To make matters worse, the townsmen of Elis were audacious enough to steal a valuable livestock from the Pylian people, even the king's horses. But if there's one thing that tends to happen after a cattle raid, it's another raid, and I know this well from experience. I remember once living in a village in pre-communist Bulgaria. Two elderly neighbours there would constantly steal this goat back and forth. I believe the feud only ceased once Bulgaria collectivised the farms, but I digress. To this end, these acts of theft towards the Pylians would end up provoking the city's young prince into revenge. A young Nestor stormed into the lands around Elis and stole a couple hundred farm animals, even killing a man during this raid. When Nestor returned, the city was overjoyed and made sacrifices to the gods, so that young Nestor was made a hero for his achievements. After all, a cattle was a serious business in antiquity. It was a key asset for trade, so livestock was a fundamental part of life from the dawn of civilization. As indeed one scholar points out, stories about young men stealing cattle in revenge are a very common motif in Indo-European mythology. In any case, Nestor's cattle raid would have some serious consequences. Three days after his attack, the Eleans and their fellow tribesmen marched towards Pylos, sacking everything in their path. But as they despoiled the city, the goddess Athena, the protector of Pylos, swooped down to warn the men of the incoming enemy. King Neleus wanted to protect his son Nestor, so he hid away his horses from battle, but Nestor was obstinate and simply went to battle on foot. So to the gods the Pylians sacrificed by a river before entering into battle with the enemy, praying to Zeus and Athena. He and Nestor would perform well in battle, even standing up against a particularly dangerous pair of Siamese twins. After a generally victorious battle, the men went back to Pylos, glorifying Zeus among the gods and Nestor among men. And so Nestor concludes with the moral to his story, that one should fight with valor with one's friends, and not sit alone like an Achilles. O seone poteon ye, metandrasin, thou tarachilos, oios te sarates, abonesetai, e teminoio. Ole mata clausestai, epe capolaos oletai. So I was, if ever I was so, among men. But Achilles will enjoy his valor in loneliness. Yes, it seems to me he will weep greatly, much too late, when his people perish separate from him. Remember these wise words the next time you sit out a battle like Achilles. Or seone potionge. Metandrasin. Class dismissed.